Hello, everybody. Uh, good morning, Dr. Rick Wallace here, uh, the Visionetics Institute. Uh, excited about uh, helping you guys get your week started. Hopefully, you had uh, a wonderful weekend. Many of you had the opportunity to spend time with family members and loved ones and do the things you love over the weekend. Um, whatever it is that you chose to do over the weekend. Uh, if you're like me, you like to get your week started on Sunday. Uh, most people uh, think of Monday as the time they actually start the week. Uh, Sunday is my prep day, but I spent a lot of time with family yesterday, which I absolutely loved, um, and helped my son celebrate his birthday. Uh, you know, just spend time uh, with family. So I had to kind of get some things done late in the later in the evening than I would normally do in the morning, but still Sunday's my day. But anyway, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are prepared to really take advantage of what opportunities lie in front of you this week. And that's something that I would love for you guys to really develop is a mindset that every day holds opportunities. I don't care how challenging it is. I don't care how much bad news you get. I don't care if you get pushed back. Learn to See the opportunities versus focusing on the obstacles. One of the things that inhibit us so much is that we get caught up in the obstacles and the obstacles begin to dictate our behavior. The obstacles begin to dictate what we see. Uh, we get obstacle centered and the obstacle becomes the big story in our life. This happened and that happened. Uh, I had this happen to me. People are doing this. And, and the truth of the matter is you can't find a person in this world in which they don't have obstacles in their lives. They don't have quote unquote haters. They don't have bad days. They don't have people working against them. Um, they don't have uh, cash flow problems. They don't have resource problems. You're not going to find anybody uh, that, that, that doesn't experience that. So what's the difference between the person who uh, is highly successful and the person who isn't successful if they're both encountering the same challenges over the course of their life? What determines the difference? What determines the difference is your thinking, your focus. What are you focused on? If you focus on the obstacles, the obstacles are ruling your life. The obstacles have control of your life. You're not in control of the of the reins of your life. You have sold your sovereignty to an illusion that appears as a problem instead of understanding that you're designed to overcome the obstacle. That's how life works. Life works by overcoming obstacles. You progress by overcoming obstacles. If there's no obstacle in front of you, there's no way to direct your path. The obstacle is for you to make the adjustment. And if you don't make the adjustment, you don't make progress. You've got to understand how to see the obstacle. Let me tell you how that happens. The best way to happen is to obsess over the destination. Obsess over the destination. I, 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 let me explain why that's important. The human mind, the human psyche is designed to respond to a destination. And then it d develops the capacity and facilitates the necessary flexibility in your movement towards that destination destination to get you there. In other words, I could sit up and I could tell you that uh, your destination is, if you we're, we're all in a room together and I tell you, okay, that de your destination is that, that desk at the far end of the room and you need to walk to that desk in a straight line and we clear out a path. That's a straight line to this desk. But in the process of you walking there, somebody pushes a chair in front of you. Another person steps in front of you. What are you going to do? If the ultimate goal is to get to the desk, despite being told that your path has to be straight, you will go around the chair or over the chair or around the person or any other obstacle put in front of you. Your ultimate destination transcends the path set. And why is that important? Because you're going to set paths. You're going to have plans. You're going to have it all laid out, and you will never, ever get it to go exactly the way you want it to as far as the path. But if you know the destination, you will make the adjustment. I'll give you a prime example. Navigation system in the car, or if you don't have it, you have it on your phone, wherever. you got this navigation system, right? 
and it gives you these directions that's going to take the quickest path with the least amount of traffic, right? And so it tells you to make a left at the next street, but you're hard-headed as hell, so you don't take the left. Or you're talking on your phone, or you're doing something else, so you miss the turn, right? What does it do? What does it do? It recalibrates, and it tells you to make a U-turn at the next available U-turn, and it's, it, it's recalibrating. It, 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 it's not thrown off by the fact that you missed the turn. And you can sit up and actually make a right. What will it do? It will recalibrate and tell you, okay, in so many miles, make a right and then make another right and then go back up and make a left. It will tell you how to get to the destination, no matter how many obstacles and no matter how many mistakes you make. Why? Because the destination is the ultimate and most important thing. But when you're focused on the path, when you focused on the route, what happens? If somebody tells you, okay, this is the way we're going to go there, and this is the route we take, this is why so many people quit, and this is why so many people keep changing uh, what they're going to do in life, keep changing what they say are their passions. Because what happens? When you focus on the route, what happens? Somebody throws an obstacle in front of you, you get to the obstacle, and you stop. Or you recalibrate and look at another destination. Why? Because you don't have a destination. You have a route that you're traveling that was heading somewhere. If I just sit up and say, hey, man, pick a point in this room and go to it. It doesn't matter what point it is. Just go there. But you have to travel in a straight line. In other words, you have to travel the path that I've given you. What happens? Somebody puts something in front of you, and now you can no longer travel a straight line. And you stop. Why? Because the destination wasn't the focus. The path was. So you either start a new path that doesn't have anything in front of it, or you stop. And that's what happens to so many of you is that you're so focused on the path that the moment that an obstacle presents itself, it shuts you down. Focus on the destination. Anybody who has worked with me, there's a couple of you on here now, anybody who has worked with me will tell you one of the first things I'm going to ask you when you start working with me is what is your expected outcome? What is your destination? Where are you trying to get? Why? Because we're going to make that the point of focus. We're going to make sure that no matter what happens, you get there. Now, how you, your idea of how you're going to get there may not be the way you get there, but that's not important. The importance is that you get there. Now, we're not saying that you get there by disrupting your values. We're not saying that you get there by lowering your standards. We're saying that you get there through flexibility, through perseverance, through determination, and the ability to move, maneuver, and engage challenges that are actually a part of your progression. See, those who are successful, those who uh, achieve ex exceptional and extraordinary things in life, those who go beyond what people say are possible are the ones who don't focus on the obstacle or they see the obstacle in a different light. In other words, when I encounter an obstacle, it's not there to stop me, it's there to make me better. Or it's there to redirect my path. It's the universe's way of telling me you can't keep going that way. Go this way now. Because if you keep going that way, you're going to miss meeting this person. You're going to miss meeting that person. You're going to miss the opportunity of, of, of picking up a new business partner if you keep going that way. So I'm going to throw an obstacle in front of you. I'm going to make you turn right. I'm going to make you respond to my urging and to my, my nudging. The universe is speaking to you. I tell people all the time. You're so caught up in failures that you don't understand the power of failure. What is failure? Failure is simply the feedback that's given to you by the universe that tells you what you need to change. See, when you fail, it's because of something. It's not an empty thing that happens in a vacuum. You don't fail because that's just who you are. You fail because there's something missing or there's something present that needs to be changed. And so what the universe does says, okay, you can't have it now because you don't have everything you need. And so in this instance of failure, you're going to find out that I don't know enough people. I don't have the right resources. I don't have enough expertise. I don't have enough experience. I haven't read enough books. I haven't connected with the right people. There's something that I need to do that I haven't done yet that is inhibiting me from moving forward. Failure is not final. It is simply the nudging of the universe to explain to you, or let's say the nudging of God. It's God telling you, you can't make it as far as you want to go traveling this particular way. You're going to have to make a change. And, and the obstacle just simply directs you. It's one of the most powerful forces you ever want to watch is to watch water move. 
but even water with its great force always finds the path of least resistance that allows it to move the way it's designed to move. And that's being able to say, obstacle, keep going around it. Obstacle, go around it. And, and you find that the entire water flow of the universe on, in every part of the planet flows with the same pattern. It's optimized in its energy that it's created because it knows how to flow. And what happens is when you are focused on the path or the route more than you're focused on the destiny, you're going to consistently meet things that will shut you down because you see the obstacle as something bigger than you. But the destiny is always greater than anything you face. Focus on your destiny. Focus on that point. Focus on your outcome, the result you're looking for, where you're headed, and make that the, the end result. Because what will happen is nobody travels to success in a straight line. Nobody travels to greatness in a straight line. That may be the way you set your path. That may be the, 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 the fastest way to get there. But life doesn't happen that way. Life happens with challenges and obstacles. And, and, and what, what else is happening with these challenges and obstacles? You're being developed. You're being groomed, you're being prepared, you're being set up, and you're being set up to win. And, 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 and those same challenges that everybody else is running from are grooming you for greatness. Everything that everybody else is hiding from and attempting to circumvent is grooming you for exceptional performance. It's, it's those things that you have to understand. Get fixed on the destiny. I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. When you set your mind on the destiny and give the obsession to the destiny instead of the path, there's absolutely nothing that can stop you because every obstacle that's placed in front of you simply becomes a part of your journey. It simply becomes a part of your elevation, a part of your progress, a part of your empowerment. It is when you start to give too much focus on the path and you lose sight of the destiny or you never declare a destiny that it's easy to change, it's easy to stop. Why? Because there's nothing that you're committed to beyond that current moment. The path is what you're committed to, but if there's a blockage in the path, well, the path is over. But if there's a destination beyond the obstacle, I've got to figure out a way to get there. And that might not be in the straight line that I first declared. It may not be on the direct route that I designed to get there. But I get there anyway because I'm willing to make the adjustments. That's it for now. That, that, that's today's five minutes of fire. But I'm telling you, uh, change your thinking. When you change your thinking, you change your results. You change uh, your impact. Uh, you see things in an entirely different light that allow will uh, that, that will allow you to do unbelievable, exceptional, exceptional, extraordinary things. But it takes a willingness to get outside of oneself to see the true nature of what is. And 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 and, 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 and I mean, you will find when you set your mind on the destination that your complaining will diminish, your frustration will diminish your victim uh, your victim mentality will, will, will disappear because you understand that if I'm still breathing, I'm still in the fight. The, the end of this particular path is not the end of my journey. It's time to readjust. It's time to reacclimate. It's time to recalibrate. It's not the end. It's just a new phase of the journey. Um, I encourage you to really truly take control of your destiny. You are the master of your faith, uh, your fate, and your faith is going to dictate your faith in your design, your faith in your purpose, your faith in what you are here for, uh, your faith in your capacity to perform is going to determine the amount of energy, effort, and focus you give to anything. And so you've got to get the limiting beliefs out of your head. And you've got to get focused on what you're created to do and understand that you have an omnipotent power inside of you. Um, you have an omniscient force inside of you that, that you have God literally guiding you and not just in a subjective manner. You have all of the access to that power. It was created that way, it was given to you, it's designed that way. There's no religion that does not tell you that. 
get out of the victim mentality and all of a sudden assume the power. Start to call things that are not as though they were. Start to see every obstacle as an opportunity to show off your power. For, and, and this is the final statement. For those of you who claim a particular faith, exercising your power, your God power, is the most powerful form of evangelism you could ever do. You can talk all day. You can give a testimony all day. When people see you come up to obstacle after obstacle and knock it out of the park, you can't beat that. People want to know how. People want to know why. People want to know what in the world are you doing? I'm not just simply talking God. I'm representing God in every action I take. I'm not bound by any rule except perform at the highest level and have the highest impact and change the world around me. With that being said, I'm going to check out of here. As I always say, look, you got to live life on full. Don't leave anything undone on this earth. Live life on full downy. It's got to be that way. That's how you build a legacy. That's how your legacy, your story outlives you. With that being said, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. Have an unbelievable week. I'll be seeing you. That, that's it for now. Peace. Yeah.